What's going on you guys? Welcome to the tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do a real basic move called happy feet. It looks like this right here. And then my voice sounds a little bit weird. It's just because I'm a little under the weather right now, but I still wanted to make this tutorial for you guys. Uh, uh, yeah, getting it. <laughs> All right guys, so the first thing I recommend is to do a really basic warm up slash stretch of just the ankles and feet. You can do more if you want. You're just going to rotate it clockwise, uh, counterclockwise. Not fast, just slow and deliberate and then reverse it and do it uh, clockwise. And then do the same thing on the opposite leg. And I like to throw in a little calf stretch too. This is if your calves are feeling really tight, this is a good stretch to do. You can hold it for a little longer than I did if you like. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your feet about shoulder width apart. You can go a little bit wider and a little bit more narrow, um, but when you're starting off, I think it's just easier not to be super wide or super narrow, just to be shoulder width apart, okay? Now you're gonna put the weight, you're gonna put your weight on your heels. So kind of lean back a little bit on your heels and you're gonna turn your toes outward, just like that. Practice that a couple times, they give you a low angle here. You can pause the video and practice that a bunch, maybe 20 times until it feels really natural. All right, now that you're back with us, you're gonna come up on your toes for the second part of the move. Okay, come up onto your toes here. So you the side view. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate our heels inward inward towards our center line. Do a little do a little ditty there. And this looks really, really stupid, I know, and it probably feels extra dumb, just like a hella stupid, but trust me, just give me your trust, give you another low angle there. Pause the video and practice that a couple times, and then come back to us. Show you the first move there, boom, boom, boom. Show you the second move here in a second, I think. Yep, there we go. So you should be able to do both of those moves, no problem. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one foot do the first move at the same time that the other foot does the second move we went over. So in this case, if you're mirroring me right now, your right foot is going to have the toe pointed up and your left foot is going to have the heel up. Again, right foot should have the toe pointed up just like this and the left foot should have the heel up. Try it now. And right now I'm pointing down there, I was giving indications of the fact that they're just switching. Toe, heel, heel, toe. Okay, that's why it used to be called the heel toe. Now the, the other heel toe is more popular, so I say heel toe, people are like, what the hell are you talking about? Anyway, it looks like this. When you start to do it a little bit more smoothly, you can try to do it to the beat, but I wouldn't worry about that initially. Just try to make it feel somewhat natural to your body. Another demo there. You can pause the video. Get you about 10 to 15 good ones. 10 to 16. I say end on an even number. All right, so at this part, I'm talking about loosening up your hips a little bit. Guys, I know that's a big problem for guys. You gotta get over, guys. Loosen the hips, dudes. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna let your hip kinda naturally go in the direction of the toe that's pointed. So when your right foot is pointed up, when your right toe is up, you're letting your hip go to the right. When your left toe is up, you're letting the hip go to the left. It just makes it look more natural and smooth. That's a little bit of weirdness. That's what happens. When you follow my instructions, crazy stuff happens. All right, here's a demo here. I think I do another demo here. As a side note, this dance move is actually in the Chris Brown Party video a lot. Um, so if you wanna see that dance, um, I did a video of that dance It'll be uh, in the box at the end of this video. You just click on the link and watch it if you want. Now here I'm talking about getting your upper body involved. So you can do a little bit of chest involvement, a little bit of arm involvement. I'm just kind of popping my chest down. So leaning to the side, pop your chest down, lean to the other side, pop your chest down. And then you're also kind of throwing your hands down like you're snapping, like to a doo-wop song or something. Kind of looks like that right there. You can get a little funky with it, do a little funky chicken type of vibe or something. <laughs> Have a little bit of fun with it. Once it starts to become more natural, you'll start to include moves on your own anyway. Get some little MJ vibes here. And look, I love this right here. Check this out. When you turn profile, it looks like a completely different move. Isn't that pretty cool? So another thing you can do is you can actually invert it. So you do the same thing, you just invert your feet. 
I love that variation. That's my favorite, actually. And then I love this. Also. I like this a lot, also. Um, MJ actually used to do this pretty often. I can show you guys how to do that if you want. Just leave me a comment down below and let me know if you want to learn how to do that. It's not actually as hard as, I don't know if it looks difficult, but it's not actually difficult at all. Now you might notice that you get a little bit of foot fatigue, but you'll get over that with time. You just have to build up some endurance. Um, otherwise practice and just have fun with it. Alrighty, as always, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for checking out the video. Make sure you leave a like, leave a comment if you want to see more, and peace.